All right, good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it is early. It is not even quite completely light outside. <sighs> Waiting on the teenager to be ready so that we can go uh, and head on into school. But I decided to have kind of a little more special coffee this morning um, in my cute little Zero Fox Given mug. I love it. I got it for Christmas a couple years ago. Um, so this just has a half a tablespoon of butter in it. Usually black coffee is my preferred way, like all the time, every single day. Like that's just my favorite thing. Sorry, I'm mismatching my hands. This is my firstborn child, by the way. Um, but, uh, you know, black coffee is my favorite, but today and tomorrow are my last days in Charleston before I head off to Keto Palooza. And I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not taking my little milk frothers. So I'm not gonna be able to make a bulletproof coffee or keto coffee while I'm there. So I figured I'd go ahead and kind of treat myself today and tomorrow morning uh, with a little bit of butter in my coffee. So that's what I'm having this morning. Now granted, I've already had like four cups. So this is just my last, my last cup at home. Cause I'll have more, uh, but yeah, butter in my coffee. And it's tasty and it's only like 64 degrees out here and it feels so nice. It's still gonna be in the 80s today, but like right now. Right now it's nice. Alright guys, hello, welcome back. Uh, what an odd day it's been. So this is day seven. You might hear my dog. She is inside begging to come outside to share dinner with me and I am not letting her out. So if you hear her, that's why. Uh, anyway, it is currently 6.30. I've been home for a few hours. Today is day seven of my seven day mini beef butter bacon eggs challenge. Uh, and I have thoughts. First of all, today has been weird. I have not had a meal uh, at this point um, other than my coffee this morning that did have some butter in it. Um, it's a hectic day at work because I basically I have today and tomorrow before I leave to go to Keto Palooza. Uh, and I have a new guy that's gonna be covering for me while I'm gone. So I'm just trying to kind of like get everything covered at work. So I was really focused at work and kind of didn't get hungry. <laughs> Drink a lot of coffee and a lot of water uh, over the course of the day, but I just never really thought about it. Uh, then I got home and I had a huge package from Chalk Zero. Uh, I happened to be a giveaway winner for Chalk Zero. I've never ordered from them before, but I won a big giveaway. And so I had this huge box of Chalk Zero treats that came today. Uh, full disclosure, I did try two of them. <laughs> so I have had something not BBBE. So technically, I guess you can call today a failure. Uh, but up to that point, I had not eaten. Um, but I was just very excited for my, <laughs> I just opened up this box of stuff. Um, so anyway, now it's 6.30. Uh, my hubby and I have taken two big walks around the neighborhood. We've gotten a lot of steps in, we've hung out, everything has been really chill until just now. Um, we are kind of burning through some leftovers before I leave. So he's having some low carb huevos rancheros and I am sitting there looking in my fridge and I'm like, there's nothing here for me. I had two eggs left uh, in my fridge, like that fast, I'm out of eggs. Um, I have the fully cooked Oscar Mayer bacon, have a bunch of that left over uh, that I can warm up. And then I do have frozen burger patties, but it's the big boxes of 12 and they're not resealable. So if I open it, I'll feel some kind of way about it. So I'm kind of like going back and forth on what I wanted to eat for dinner. So when I made Richard, uh, uh, his Hoy Rancheros, I made one of the packs of the Oscar Mayer fully cooked bacon for him. I warmed that up in the microwave so that he could have a few slices of bacon on the side with it. And then I was like, you know what, I'll just eat the rest of that bacon. And then I was like, that's not gonna be a lot of food because a full pack is 300 calories and I'm only gonna have like half of it. 
and that would be my food for the day. And that does not seem like enough. So I decided to heat up another pack. So this is a pack and a half of the Oscar Mayer Fully Cooked Bacon. And basically all I do is I take a plate, I lay out some paper towels, I lay them all on there, and I microwave it for a minute. And when I do that, it comes out like ever so slightly, like a little floppy still, which is my favorite way to eat bacon. Uh, and a little crunchy. Mm -hmm. So, there's that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not terribly hungry. But I didn't want to not eat. Not because fasting is bad. Um, but because I do know if I didn't eat, I would wake up starving in the morning. Um, but also because it's day seven. I didn't want to be like, hey, day seven, no food. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to eat a pack and a half of bacon. I'm sure that someone will give me grief over it. Um, you know, that I should have variety or whatever. Um, I, this is what I have tonight. I'm just <laughs> I'm working with what I got. Um, someone also uh, in the comments the other day mentioned, like, why only seven days? That's stupid. Why even bother? Here's why. I have the attention span of a mosquito, okay? And so for me, making really long-term commitments and really long-term challenges and things is kind of tough. It's really, I get bored really easily. So little things like doing protein spirit modified fast a couple of days a week, which I haven't done in ages, but still it's a thing. Um, or doing like a two or three day egg fast or what I like to do a lot is incorporate like days in the week. So like Tuesday will be an egg fast day. Friday will be an egg fast day. Or, um, you know, I'm going to do all lean protein on Wednesday and whatever, you know, you can kind of play with it. And when you have those little mini goals, they are more attainable and easier to commit to than saying, okay, for 30 days, I'm going, uh, going to only eat beef, butter, bacon, eggs. That's kind of daunting for a lot of people. And sometimes it helps to work up to those types of things with smaller challenges. Um, for me personally, I just get really bored. Um, I did a 30 day beef, butter, bacon, eggs challenge last year and I, I felt amazing, but I was miserably bored by the, <laughs> by the end of it. I just desperately wanted like seafood and chicken and I don't like to feel like those kinds of things are off limits. So I, I like the idea of doing something that is shorter term where I'm getting obviously good nutrition and I'm feeling good in that period of time, but then I can move on to something else that I'm going to enjoy if I do a challenge at all. Um, so it can be, you know, you can move into a carnivore challenge or a keto challenge or whatever it might be from one to another, but sometimes doing those mini fasts, um, or mini challenges rather, um, it is, a way of kind of flexing that muscle of practicing a little bit of discipline. So if you do a little challenge that's three days or five days or seven days, you might be able to later on do something bigger than that. But in the meantime, you can knock out a small little challenge like that. And then when you're done, you gain confidence because of having accomplished something that you set your mind to. So I, I really think that there's a lot of value in doing mini challenges. Way back in the day, when I first started uh, a low carb lifestyle back in 2017, I could not imagine going a full day of carnivore, much less a month or two weeks or anything like that. So I started working carnivore days in. So what I would do is on my truck days at work, when I was the busiest at work, I would have carnivore days. So it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday were carnivore days. And then my other days were just regular keto days. And in doing that, I started flexing that muscle and was able to have more days where even now it's, it's they're just like, they're sprinkled in there. I'll have plenty of keto days and then a couple of carnivore days or however that works out. Um, but it, it was a, a thing that I just started small. Eventually, I remember doing a five-day carnivore challenge. I think that was with Nicole Burgess on her channel like a few years ago. Uh, then eventually I did a 30-day carnivore challenge, which ended up becoming like a seven-month carnivore <laughs> journey <laughs> before 
settling back in where I'm happiest, which is that nice little hybrid between keto and carnivore. Um, but it's, it's all about, I think, experimentation and testing your limits and giving yourself many goals and many challenges and things to kind of strive for and push for and to really practice some discipline and learn some discipline. And I, I don't speak for everybody, but I feel like I can't be the only one that when I have one of those small accomplishments, it makes me feel good. And it kind of reinforces that I'm doing the right thing and gives me the courage and the strength and the discipline to start another mini challenge. So I hope that makes sense. But that's why I only did seven days. I don't want more than seven days of just beef, butter, bacon, eggs. That is boring after a while for me. I am not a huge fan of doing it forever. I really like chicken. I really like seafood. Me personally, I love cucumbers and peppers. Okay? I am not going to be carnivore forever. I, I just can't do it. It's not in my wheelhouse. It's not what I want to do for my life. So these little mini things are kind of fun. Uh, they're a nice way to reduce inflammation and feel good. And also feel good about the fact that I'm able to, to commit to something and accomplish it. So I have my plate of bacon. This is what I'm eating. This is my meal of the day. I, you know, I don't know. I, I just never quit. <laughs> oh, but that is all. And we're wrapping up the seven day beef, butter, bacon, eggs challenge. Now, because I had that weird curveball in the middle, um, you know, I, I haven't even stepped on the scale or anything like that. I feel good and that's all that matters. Um, my sleep has been great and clearly, especially like looking at today, like I definitely feel like my hunger is under control and my craving for sweet things has gotten under control. So that's exactly what the goal was here. So I feel good. I feel good about the week. Um, Tomorrow I'm shifting back into just kind of my normal baseline diet, which is, is typically anywhere from like zero to 10 grams of total carbs a day is my average, uh, kind of falling into that keto bore spectrum, that hybrid between both keto and carnivore. Um, but heading to Louisville this weekend for Keto Palooza, who knows what's on the table, um, but I'm going to kind of consider that just a, a flexible keto weekend. I'm not gonna count carbs, I'm just gonna eat keto food and feel really good about it. So uh, I do plan on documenting the trip. I don't know how frequently I will be able to upload while I'm gone, uh, but I'm definitely gonna film. And at minimum, I will have a video recapping the trip and the whole event and everything uh, sometime next week, once I'm home and able to get something edited and up for you guys. But I should be posting um, at least daily on Instagram uh, either as posts or in my stories. So I will try to also copy that stuff over to YouTube for the anti social media folks. Um, but I'll also be posting on Facebook and in the Facebook group, which is linked down below. If you guys are interested, um, there is a very specific question in order to become a member. And if you don't answer yes to that question, I decline you just so you know, but we would love to have you over there. If you are cool with coming into a place of happy people within the low carb keto and carnivore spectrum. Everybody is welcome as long as they promise not to be a jerk. So I would love to see you over there and I'll get something uploaded in the next couple of days uh, to update y'all on the trip and that'll be fun. All right. See y'all soon. As always, love you, mean it. And I'm going to go and chat on, on bacon. Like a lady.